Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Dominique Battista. I work at the University of Oxford in the fair sharing team. And uh, thank you for letting me present our work on machine readable metadata models and a set of, tool of toolkits that we have developed to help you manipulate them. So this project originated with a couple of um, this project originated with a couple of statements uh, and problems. So the very first one was that there are hundreds and hundreds of minimum information checklists out there. Uh, they come from different samples and technologies, and most of the time they are written for human uh, beings, which means that they like a little bit of machine readability. So, for instance, a PDF is hardly exploitable. Those raise a couple of questions, especially in the context of the fair principles. Uh, the first one was given a data set, um, metadata, how do you validate those against the corresponding model? How do you combine those metadata to create more complex experiments? And how do you combine those models all together to create um, the new, new models? So in order to deal with that, we are proposing uh, a representation of those models using a JSON schema for the syntactic layers and JSON LD for the semantic ones, and we are proposing you a toolkit to help you manipulate those uh, schemas. So this is just um, the philosophy of uh, separations of concern that has driven this project. So on the left, you have a simple JSON schema, and each field is actually represented with its ontology term identifier, which is not very human readable. So we have separate those two. On the top, you have the syntactic constraints that are in the JSON schema. And on the bottom, we have linked context files sorry, from JSON-LD to represent the semantic constraints. And this allows for different communities to have different ontology systems living side by side for the same representation. Among the toolkit that we have developed, the very first one is a documenter it will display in the browser all the properties of a given schema and all the references inside the schema. So what you will get is the metadata of each of the schemas in the network. You will get a list of all the fields for that schema with the different references to other subschemas and the ontology value that has been tagged for that field. So this is very simple. It's available on GitHub as either a service or you can download the source code and use it locally. Now we're coming to the core of the toolkit. It's a Python application that will help you manipulate the schemas. So what we'll do, what we'll do it will help you uh, validate a given schema against the meta model to make sure that the syntax is correct. And it will also help you uh, validate the instances, so the metadata them themselves, against the model, which is kind of important in the context of fair principle to make sure that the incoming metadata is rich enough. It will also allow you to uh, compare and combine existing models in case you want to create new ones, and we'll come to that right after this slide. Uh, it will help you extend the, con the semantic constraints by allowing you to create new context files and help you filling up those values inside. And optionally, for some very specific uh, models, it's also it also allows you to export them to the Cedar uh, metadata API. It's available on GitHub. It's uh, fully documented through read the docs. And it's been uh, uh, covered with unit tests and continuous integration through Travis CI. Basic stuff. Uh, so this is for the comparison output. So basically the Python tool uh, at the moment will output you files and you need to read those files with another JavaScript uh, application. So what you can see here on this slide is that we have been merging the Mayaka and Mayakmi schemas and we have been comparing that merge with the original Mayaka schema. And what we can see is that all the fields from Mayaka are correctly imported and all those fields are the one for Mayakmi. So thank you uh, for letting me present. Um, this is the team that has been working on the project. Uh, Alejandra Gonzalez Beltran has been um, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. She has been leading the project, but she has left now uh, the team, so she is not here today. Uh, we are also research, uh, we are also recruiting a research software engineer with uh, front-end skills. Thank you very much. <laughs>